Chapter 1062, Bei Jianzin. The lesser day the world has opened. When night came, this news exploded to even the most remote corners across the plateau. Not far from Spirit Mountain where the moonlight was shining on a sparkling great lake, a huge group was already waiting nearby with their eyes fixated on the water's surface. Splash! A sound like a carp crossing the dragon gate came about. More bubbles appeared in a very lively and happy scene as if they had their own sentience. Splash! 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 These water ripples slowly jumped and formed a huge Buddhist gate with symbols on them. Each symbol seemed to suppress the world inside, preventing the creatures within from getting out. The gate to the lesser world is there, let us go. An ancestor shouted after seeing the stabilization of the portal. He brought his disciples inside and disappeared right away. Other people quickly followed suit. They had been waiting for this rare opportunity for too long. Rumble. Chariots rampaged through the sky with Venerable Nine Sir in the lead. Ji Kong Woody is coming. We need to hurry. Many people were startled after seeing this team and pushed past each other in their mad rush into the Buddhist gate. After Ji Kong Woody came, those who hadn't entered yet made way for him. No one dared to stop them, especially after seeing the Venerable sitting on a chariot. Anyone would shiver with apprehension. After this group went inside, other geniuses like Zan Shi, Heavenly Emperor Lin, and the Jewel Pillar Mortal King went in as well. Many people were full of admiration after seeing the Mortal King still in high spirits and ready to fight. Win some lose some, the Mortal King is indeed a war god. For cultivators, defeat is not scary at all. The scary thing is not having the courage to face defeat. As long as he never accepts defeat, he will be able to reach the top. A fan spoke. Experienced cultivators, especially the older ones, weren't afraid of losing. It was something that would eventually happen in life, even for immortal emperors. Hurry, the immortal grasses and treasures in the lesser world are waiting for us. Another ancestor yelled out and scrambled inside with his juniors. Even after nightfall, Li Kai still didn't make his move. On the second day, he told Li Xiu and Yin's group, Ladies, get ready, get ready. We should be going to the lesser day of the world as well. Young noble, what kind of creations will you give us this time? Chen Beijiao smiled coquettishly with a spoiled appearance. She was already pretty enough, so this coy gesture contained an unstoppable charm capable of causing souls to sway. You guys do not need more creations. Li Kai smiled and shook his head. We have plenty of treasures, and as for merit laws, what could be better than your immortal physiques? Li Kai was right. After destroying imperial lineages like the Heaven Hoof Ravine, they were not lacking treasures at all. Then for what reason are you bringing us inside? Chen Beijiao continued to act cute. The spirit medicines and grasses in the devil world can be said to be the best in the world. They are pure and magical, so I plan to find some suitable ones for you too. Li Kai answered while glancing at them. What you two lack right now is experience. This requires time and training, but the addition of some elixirs and potions will be quite effective. At the same time, you two will be able to see one of the mysticisms of this world. What item are you going there for this time? Li Xiu Yin's coldness contrasted Chen Beijiao's charm. It had a different attraction. To finish some old wishes as well as to compete against the Nihiligi Temple. Li Kai chuckled without elaborating. However, before they got on the road, a visitor came early in the morning. It was the famous Bei Jianzin. I want to duel against you. She coldly uttered the moment she saw Li Kai. Duel? Li Kai looked at her. Even though she was still as cold as a sword, there was a clear difference. She had an indescribable natural sensation to her. Only when her battle intent surged would she truly be emotionless. At this second, she had stepped into the Tao of the sword. The agreement between us is still in effect. With the sword in her embrace, she became a sword, the sharpest blade in this world. The agreement she referred to was the three swords duel back from the heavenly corpse burial ground. Li Kai smiled and shook his head. Even if I want to, what are you going to use to fight me? I'm not looking down on you, but your defeat is assured. How do you know I will lose without fighting? She grimaced while a sharp glint flashed. This sword light was able to decapitate the sky. There's no need to fight. I already know. Li Kai smiled while sitting leisurely. What will you use? Your mad sword or will you use your fate as an offering to the sword? I know all the little tricks from the sword god's sacred ground. It's none of your business. She uttered slowly. I will die if I am defeated, but if I win, I only want your Buddhist sword. Buddhist sword? He chuckled. After reaching this level, you should know that the Buddhist sword is not about sword techniques or the Tao of the sword. It relies on the heart of the sword. Li Kai pointed at his heart. I require your pointers. She stood there coldly like a divine sword that had left its scabbard. She was ready to begin the ultimate fight of her life. I won't fight you because it is meaningless to me. He looked at her and spoke. I have no use for a dead person. Your Tao of the sword and mad sword can't defeat me. The only thing that you can use to even compete is to sacrifice your life and faith for the sword. Even if I beat you, the only thing left will be your corpse, and I am not a necrophiliac. She stood there quietly. It was not that she lacked confidence, but the truth was that her mad sword was no match for him. Just like he said, she only had one real ace capable of defeating him. You have understood the essence of the sword Tao. He continued, however, what you have obtained is only a tiny corner of this essence. To focus on one Tao and reach for its limit, I am not saying that this is a flaw since this is a type of cultivation, a way of the grand Tao. At the very end. All will return to the beginning. Just like your immortal emperor Yi-Ti, he still managed to become an emperor in the end. Having said that, he gently shook his head. However, your sacred ground sword Tao is too extreme. For example, Yi-Ti proved his Tao by killing. Even though all the different Tao can eventually be used to reach the throne, using killing to prove one's Tao, and you with your crazed state, these are slanted paths. 
I don't want to speak about Immortal Emperor Yi Ti with such a negative evaluation. The only thing I can say is that your path will sometimes determine your outcome. Do you know the outcome of Immortal Emperor Yi Ti? He stared at her and asked, What was his outcome? Her eyes became serious. She had heard a little bit about their patriarch's legends, but there was no way to verify them. If you have the chance in the future, you will find out. He said insipidly, The Buddhist sword and the mad sword, these are both different parts of the sword Tao, and you can follow them to the end, as it is now. You want to obtain the Buddhist sword, but what about afterward? What do you think is after the Buddhist sword? She pondered quietly while looking at Li Kai and couldn't come up with an answer right away. I can guide you so that you can understand the true meaning of the Buddhist sword. I can even show you the way after the Buddhist sword. He slowly offered, however, there is no free lunch in this world. She eventually asked him with a deep tone, what do you want? He chuckled in response, stay and I will give you a home. In the future, you will surely become a sword god, a real sword god capable of slaying gods above and annihilating devils below. After a while, she answered, you already have a sword attendant. You're mistaken. Li Kai shook his head and smiled. You are different from Xuang Yun. She is my personal maid. I don't want you to take care of my daily life. What I want is a general. He went on to say while looking at her. I appreciate your stubborn dedication to the Tao of the sword. This stubbornness is the most important prerequisite to reaching the apex of the sword. However, what I like even more is that you are a sword yourself. A sword that I can hold in my hand. Sharp and dangerous to the point of being ruthless. Wherever I point shall be severed by you. She contemplated for a long time. After all. This was an important choice in her life. Follow me and I shall give you more than just the Tao of the Sword. He lightly added, I can give you much more, such as taking you to the places that immortal Emperor Yi Ti had visited. I can tell you his outcome as well. After a long silence, she finally spoke solemnly, Okay, I agree. With that, she unhesitatingly swore with her true fate. She was indeed a decisive person. After an agreement was reached, Li Kai ordered, If you have anything to prepare, do so now. We will be heading for the Lesser Deva world. Bei Jianzen didn't say anything and quietly left. And here I thought that you were going to take her in as a bedwarmer. Chen Beijiao smirked after Bei Jianzen left. Li Kai smiled and shook his head. The three swords duel back then was only a joke. I only wanted to tease her a bit. Plus, who would be more suitable to be my bedwarmers than you two? In your dreams. Chen Beijiao pouted cutely. Even the cold Li Xiuangyin had a slight shade of red on her face. 